Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. How would you feel about school taking up an extra hour every day to teach basic adult stuff like washing clothes, basic cooking, paying taxes? I'd be opposed to the extra hour. But not the activities. School was already an 8 hour a day thing, pushing it up to 9 hours means it actually becomes longer than a full time job. And that's before you get to homework and shit like that. If anything the school day should be shorter. Or keep it 8 hours in the building, but leave 2 or 3 of those for students to work on homework with a teacher around when they need help forward slash guidance or just for them to socialize in a somewhat structured way. Expecting kids forward slash teens to maintain any level of engagement and discipline for 8 hours straight is psychotic. It's a system built by nerds and sadists. Yep kids are already overworked as are adults. We'd all benefit from a reduction in work. My rural ass school did this in the 2000s. Home EC, sewing, taxes, cooking, woodworking, etc. Could even get into metal working, accounting, quilting, pottery, etc. if you wanted to. My home EC class had groups of three students try to make one pot of spaghetti, and every single group's spaghetti was inedible in different ways, and it made me afraid to try cooking again. We did that, but with cookies and biscuits. We learn it how using too much of this or too little of that would affect a recipe. If you learn those things you can make cookies and go I want them to be more chewy and know exactly what to start adjusting. My school had a class like that, most of the classmates didn't pay attention and now complain 10 years later that they never learn it about taxes and credit card interest. Also some parents were super upset about the school overstepping their boundaries by teaching basic budgeting, I can't imagine that situation has gotten any better in the last 10 years. I'm not against the class being taught, but at the at the end of the day you have to realize that all that stuff is easily learned once you are an adult with just a minimum amount of research if someone isn't taking the 15 minutes it takes to learn how to wash their clothes properly or watch a YouTube video for a basic recipe as an adult when they actually need to do those things to function, no way in hell as a teen would they pay attention to a class that tried to teach them that. It's still a good idea to have the class, but it isn't some magical fix everyone seems to think it is. I am against the adding an extra hour of school though on top of regular school though. This. People love to parrot this idea. I promise you that for 90% of students it won't be any different from any other class, they just won't care. Seriously thank you. I hate it so much when people say this. I literally had these classes in high school and nobody cared and now everyone blames teachers for not teaching them things when it's like yeah if you paid attention at all in 9th and 12th grades you'd know what credit cards forward slash taxes are and how to sew but ooh. This used to be called home EC and most schools had it. Then boomers did away with it because it cost too much. Now they make fun of young people for not knowing things they would have learned in home EC. In my high school, home EC was for girls and all the guys took wood shop. I'd spent a few hours a weekend helping my dad build stuff since I was little, and I decided I'd rather hang out with girls for an hour than build a birdhouse or something. Best decision ever. We made cakes, learned how to negotiate rent, and sewed clothing. It wasn't exactly academically challenging, but it was a lot of fun. No regrets at all on that one. Negotiate rent. Renter dear landlord, I would like to pay less rent. Landlord no. Home economics in most schools taught cooking and sewing, not actual economics stuff like establishing a budget, understanding how stocks and dollar cost averaging investment works, or how crippling credit card debt is. If you learned any of that at all, it was usually a unit in math class. Source, Gen Z who learned how to make a pizza from scratch and sew a pillow in home EC. My high school had a class called Personal Financial Management that was an required elective. Shoulder bean mandatory that was some good stuff. Schools have these already and the kids in them don't care. It's not immediately relevant to their lives so they don't pay attention. Sorta of like if I were to talk to you about the do's and don'ts of denture cream. You say, hey, I'll figure it out later when I need to know it and stop paying attention. I've taught in several schools that have tried to teach social skills, kindness, meditation, financial literacy, etc. In every case, the kids did not care. It was their least favorite part of the day because it felt like a waste of time. The point of education is to teach thinking, not doing. A well-educated student can teach themselves these things. A quick Google search can teach you how to file taxes, cook, etc. 
but you can't Google how to do Algebra 2 and expect to understand what you read without some background in the subject matter. The point of education is to teach thinking, not doing. That's a fair point. My science classes definitely have helped with cooking, as they taught problem solving and analysis which is very useful when you need to rescue a recipe or want to experiment. I am opposed to it. There's no reason parents can't teach these things to their kids while doing said tasks. School isn't responsible for every single thing. Also, with the internet, if a parent doesn't know, changing a tire, for example, they can easily learn. Yup, school can't teach literally everything. Most of what you need to learn outside of school can be done with skills you get in school. Laundry and basic cooking isn't that hard as long as you have the skills to complete high school. I think it should be optional because not everyone has a parental figure that will teach these things though. Some parents don't do these tasks. Some parents get frustrated that the kid can't instantly perform at an adult level and refuse to teach it, or scream the entire time they are teaching it. And using the internet to learn things is no substitute for hands-on learning. I don't know if home EC should be required but it should be an elective people can take. Should teachers be teaching kids how to wipe their asses too then because some parents might not. It starts and ends in the home, school doesn't change that, and while I appreciate the intention people like you have with this logic, you have to understand that if the home is as deficient as you're using to reason here, more mandatory schooling isn't going to help. The thing is IMO, that this might help break the cycle where kids don't have parents that care to teach them. And these often are parents that, if they don't know how to do X thing, will not try to learn it in order to teach their kids. It could be helpful for kids with neglectful forward slash otherwise abusive parents. I could certainly see this as a useful subject for like one or two years an hour a week. But also till that school lasts eight plus hours in many places, here it's six hours in most schools, plus homework. Those are the things that a competent parent should teach their child. Agreed. And not all of us have competent parents. And this is why Google exists. When I moved out and started living on my own, all it took was a quick Google search and about two minutes of reading before I got the basics of laundry down to a point where I didn't ruin my clothes. Taxes are even easier because unless you're running your own business, most modern filing websites can get and fill in the information for you. Every year that I filed, I was done with my taxes in 10 minutes or less. Anything more complicated and you'd probably be better of consulting an accountant instead of your parents, unless your parents also happen to be accountants, or hey, Google also exists, too. Cooking, on the other hand, took a bit more time but that's just a matter of practice. You do realize having a competent parent is a privilege. Teachers should not be responsible for every potential failing of a parent. They work hard enough already. My mom wasn't the greatest at math or even cooking but she taught us how to feed ourselves cheaply and moderately healthy, pay bills, clean and repair our clothes, and do first aid. I consider myself lucky to have learned those things before I left for college. I had friends who literally stapled their clothes back together or just gave them away and bought new ones. True but there are a lot of things parents don't know especially when it comes to money. How to budget, how to take advantage of a 401 Kelvin the difference between a Roth and traditional IA, how to invest, etc. Then there are things that could really help a young student like how to meal prep, how to shop for groceries to make multiple meals, how to vet a potential roommate. Kids spend 12 YRS just learning how to take tests and are rarely prepared for the real world. Suppose someone learns this at 16 or 18. How much are they going to remember in their mid-20s or later? And how many things will have changed by then? Assuming parents know this stuff. This thinking contributes to the cycle of economic disadvantage being so hard to break out of across generations. A small investment making sure all kids are introduced to the impact of credit card debt, and the power of starting early with even a tiny amount of retirement savings, can have a huge impact in hash adults who are financially secure as they approach retirement. That's just home EC. My home ex class was baking cookies and eating them in the next class. I can't remember anything else. See, you took home existentialism. You were supposed to take home economics. I would disagree. This is stuff that should be taught during school not adding on to it. They need to take things out before adding anything. Our man just put a second teacher in there and have them talk at the same time. I would say the parents should be doing that. 
why even have the kid if you want the teachers to raise them? Yeah, you'd be better off just adding a class called How to Be a Fucking Parent and Teach Your Kids Basic Ass Shit 101. Because some kids have shitty parents or parents who don't understand finances. So where's the line? Where do schools stop being schools and start just being full-time parents? Some kids either don't have a parental figure to learn this with, or the parents don't know enough forward slash don't care enough to teach them.